Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the rear brake pads on our 2007 Honda Goldwing GL1800A. Very simple to do. I just need to gather up a couple of tools in my parts and then I'll show you how to get it done. So let's go. All right, this is going to be a skill level one. Really simple procedure here. Now, as far as the tools, just need a flat blade screwdriver, five millimeter Allen, three eighths ratchet, and as always, a decent torque wrench. Now, if you would, reference our exploded diagrams that will show you exactly where you need to go to the rear of the machine and get the part number that you need. So, once you've got your tools and your parts together, we'll go over there and I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, before we can really get started, this particular machine has a little decorative panel that's covering up the caliper and the, uh, the rotor itself. So give me a couple of minutes to get it out of the way. Then I can show you how to actually change out your pads. You know, now that I've got this thing off looking at it, it's actually uh, has lights through it. Uh, gonna be interesting, when I get it put back together, we'll have to flip it on just to see all of the, all the lights this guy added to it. I mean, they did a good job. Usually I don't like aftermarket installations of anything, but um, this one, uh, it was done correctly. First thing we need to do is go ahead and collapse the caliper. Now you can do this just by pushing in on it. I know some people may get upset about the way I like to do it, but I, I usually take a screwdriver and just gently pry in between the uh, actual rotor and the brake pads, because I'm not gonna be reusing the brake pads. So. It doesn't hurt my soul to scratch them up a little bit, but you do not want to scratch up the rotor itself. So if you're gonna use this technique, be careful and don't let it dig into the edge of it, dig into the rotor. You'll feel with it when it bottoms out. When it does bottom out, just hold it for a few seconds and then release. Now, there's a little plug down at the bottom, just a little rubber plug, pull that out. Behind that is going to be a five millimeter Allen. Go ahead and pop it loose, which is actually a pin that goes all the way through the brake pads and the, uh, the caliper itself and holds the brake pads in place. So pretty simple setup. And we're going to pull it out. And at the same time, we're going to push up on the brake pads, which takes the pressure off and the pin just comes out. Now your brake pads are going to just drop out. One. And there's number two. Actually, these were in pretty good shape. They could have kept going a little bit longer, but you know, the reason behind this was for me to show you how to swap them out. So how do you know if yours are worn out? Well, one, they're not gonna grab as well, and it's gonna make this god-awful sound of metal on metal, because once that pad area is uh, worn away, that backing plate would just start eating into your, uh, your rotor. And you do not want that to happen. What I want to do now is go over and just clean up this pin. And then when we go to reinstall it, I want to put a little bit of grease just around this little O-ring, not on the entire pin, just on the tip. That makes it easier to insert when we go to reinstall. And then we'll get the new pads put in. And what we're going to do is we're going to take them and feed them up. And we want to get these upper edges into that upper shelf. You'll, you'll feel them click in, then we're gonna hold it up and then push this pin all the way through the caliper and also through those points right there. So that's, this is how that's all gonna go back together. Feed up the inside one first, pushing in on the caliper a little bit. All right, it's there. Now we can pull out on the caliper and go with the other side. All right, so I've got them both held up. Now we can go ahead and put our pin through. There's one, there's two. Now they're in. Grab your five millimeter Allen and just bring it back hand tight until it bottoms out. Then we're going to grab our torque wrench and set it to 13 foot pounds. Next, get our little. Uh, stopper put in and what I have to do next is put this decorative piece back on so give me a couple of minutes to get that done and then we can wrap it up all right guys we've got that plate back in place only thing left to do is just pump it back up otherwise you're gonna have a nasty surprise when you go to put on your brakes because nothing's gonna be there 
All right, guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. Listen, if you need any parts for your particular machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thank you for shopping with us here at Partzilla and we will see you in the next video.